Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Reddit's subreddit for permaculture. And they have a, li a, a nice entry about how to design beautiful gardens, beautiful permaculture gardens. And, you know, I'm not one for aesthetics, usually. If it's functional and gets the job done, you know, that's good. But as there is a certain appeal to a beautiful-looking garden, beautiful-looking farm. Uh, and this guy or girl... I, uh, Peta Babble, probably a woman, I imagine, with a name like Peta. But uh, texture. you got to take terms of how the leaves look, how uh, the branches look. Contrast. The contrast of different textures and colors against the garden. As well as continuity and repetition, which, you know, contrast and continuity don't seem to go well together. But color, timing, meaning uh, when certain plants come in. Uh, the roses smell sweet, but then the rose hips come later. So you want to have plants that produce a little bit of something throughout the year. Winter interest, another, throughout the year if it's in a cold environment. And odd numbers. I guess there's something appealing aesthetically about having odd numbers according to this person. I, I don't know. But last but not least, keep it simple. If you're um, building something for a client, like designing permaculture for a profit for someone else's farm, then you want to keep it simple. Even if it's just your own, because your time is valuable. And if you're maintaining a very complicated farm, that takes a lot more time. Just walking from one area to the next sometimes, if it's a complicated layout, can be a little daunting. Or at least time-consuming. But, uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to read more about how to make a beautiful garden, follow the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.